Some people use the word billet in front of the word aluminum, trying to indicate some kind of quality of an item, like this clutch lever here. Not happening. To say that this clutch lever is made of billet aluminum or a foot peg or any kind of uh, decorative item is made of billet aluminum is just about the same as saying, well, this 1x4 here, this one is made of the, oh, the sliver kind of wood, you know, the one that splits, you know, the sliver kind. Alrighty. So, billet aluminum, not happening. But the only thing it means, because it doesn't mean quality, the only thing it refers to on behalf of the speaker is its lack of clue. Billet is a shape. Let's look at this book. What the heck is this? Uh, Modern Materials and Manufacturing Processes. Just really briefly before we get sued from the publisher for uh, copyright violations. There we have a picture. Blooms, slabs and billets are formed from ingots. Those would be blooms, slabs and that shape is billets. So that's billet and you can make it out of steel, you can make it out of copper, you can make it out of aluminum, you can make it out of manganese, you can make it out of magnesium, you get the idea. Okay, so that's billet. And this aluminum uh, was made through casting. You can see the casting lines right about, how do I hold this? There, right about there. It's cast in a mold and that casting line is clearly visible there probably into the mold, the molten metal was poured in through there, something like that. And uh, yeah, this one is cast. Where blooms, slabs and billets are used is in rolling, in, a, uh, in rolling presses or rolling mills. You can see between a series of rollers, a thickness of material goes in and it gets thinner and thinner and thinner just for comparison there's one uh, huge bloom going in and there's basically it's a crane operator watching the operation here in another picture these blooms are being taken out of a soaking pit and as they travel through they turn into rails and eye beams and structural shapes and yeah ever thinner and thinner okay so that's what blooms is but what the heck let's look at another book uh, see what they say about soaking rolling mill and uh, ingots are removed from the ingot soaking pit again and uh, in this context again you can see slabs blooms and billets and they still refer to the same hot rolling procedure where uh, white hot metal is r rolled between rollers to make it into some uh, structural shape typically not foot pegs, brackets, license plates and levers okay so that's all I have to say about blooms, slabs and billet aluminum